Okay, so this is what we got going here. I just started trying it and then I wanted to bring you along, so got those two in. And I don't know if I can do this one handed, but I'm going to try it just by backing this off a little. Really has a pretty good control there because I guess there wasn't the crud in there that I was expecting. I think I need a new heater car. But anyway, this little tool seems to work pretty good because I can just close it off here, close it off there, and then I'm gonna go and put that in another container where I can recycle it and take a look at it. And I'm having trouble with the heater core and I thought before I even think of taking it, uh, the dashboard apart, I'm gonna flush it out. And what I'm gonna use, uh, different than some of the other videos I've seen on YouTube, is some bicycle inner tube and a brass uh, nozzle from your garden hose. This way I can regulate it, I guess, I so you don't want to over, you know, to shoot too much in there. So I figured that would work. And then I have this thick walled uh, bicycle inner tube that I figured I could clamp on there and then put this on to the, to the, uh, the to the outlet, flush it back the other way, and maybe use this other bicycle inner tube to, to catch the, uh, the waste or the, the part that's flushing out. Um, you know, it occurred to me that this is probably more what a, a normal inner tube that you might have, which is not gonna be nearly this kind of a thing. This is an old, I don't know if we're gonna be able to read it here, 27 uh, by one and a quarter, and this is off a vintage bicycle. So it's pretty plenty thick. I'm not sure it would work on the regular, a modern hose, but uh, anyway, we're ready to hook this thing up.